Well, good morning, Basil. I um, got something to admit. Um, I got a little bit stuck on the last video. Um, I recorded it and then I couldn't finish it and my beard grew out. I started to look a little scruffy. The winter started to feel really cold, so I got a little bit stuck on it. But I did finally finish and post it. And I guess I just, sometimes I wonder if these videos, if I should even be doing these videos. Um, sometimes I feel silly about them. And so, you know, I go back and forth between, you know, working on the video and working on my other projects. And I guess I just, it's really sad, but I guess I just think that maybe if I push hard on my other projects, I can do something successful and that would help me be able to see you sooner because I have money and t I don't know. It's... And I just, it's like every day I, you know, think about doing these videos and then I'm like, you know, maybe I should just stop or focus on something else. And then I just think, I just can't understand why I'm here and you're there. And I can't see you and it just doesn't make, any sense to me. And so, you know, writing out a letter to you, maybe that I never send, doing these videos, it's my only way to feel like I can meet you in the middle and see you and I guess it's all I have is one-sided communication and so it's still better than nothing. And so Anyway, so it's been a rough couple of weeks. Um, basically took a month to do the one video. Uh, you can see my place is, I've been re, um, I don't exactly redecorating. I've just been uh, taking it apart. But there was something that I wanted to show you over here. So I was going through these papers, which are some old papers for one of my, oh, here's Daddy, for one of my business that I had hanging up on the wall and Baba took them off the wall and stuck them in this container here. And I was going through these papers, kind of like this. I wanted to show you something. I saw a little thing of Daddy. I couldn't pass it up. Anyway, so I was going through this and you know all these papers here and you know all this stuff and here and here. Uh, sometimes I have this feeling like I'm lost in this infinitely complex forest. Uh, the papers and this endless seem to be branching paths of text and documents. I, I feel like I'm I'm lost in it and I, I can't escape and it's never ending. And so I was going through these papers and then I found this little thing here that I absolutely loved. And so I hung it up and it 
This is actually an important piece here, and so I hung it up with this to remember it. And I wanted to show you this little book that you made here. See here? It's got put your name on it there. And then you open it up. Let's get these little dots and anyway, this thing really uh, inspired me. I like the look of it and it helped me think of making little books and you know, like everything we did together, you inspire me in a kind of um, unconscious way. But with this thing in particular, you know, I had this sense that I was, when I saw that thing that you had done in, the, in this pack here, um, it was like this little clue that was kind of guiding me like, oh, there's, there's something in here. And, and the dream that I have about you is, um, I've had this recurring dream about you and in the dream I'm lost in a forest again and it's, it's that same infinitely complex forest. And in the dream, uh, you take me by the hand and you guide me through the forest. And you're like this little fairy spirit showing me the way through. And, and that's what I think when I find a little paper of yours inside of my papers. I think it's you and your way guiding me through the infinitely complex forest. And it might be easy to say, oh, you know, you're just because you, you lost your family. You're just, you know, idealizing these, these childlike things, but, or, you know, idealizing our connections and, you know, the things I did with you and, you know, really you're just a child and maybe I shouldn't foist that much on you but um, thinking about that reminded me of something uh, your mother said to me one time a long time ago when my grandma died and I thought it was one of the most beautiful things that anybody had ever said and I was talking about a poem that I had written and I dedicated the poem to my grandma but I worried that, you know, my grandma wouldn't have liked the poem because she wasn't really into poetry and the poem was kind of obscure. And I just thought, well, maybe, you know, I'm dedicating it to her, but maybe it wouldn't even be something that she would like. And um, Alexis said to me, she said, well, maybe in the place that she is now, she can appreciate it. You know, meaning maybe in heaven, she can appreciate the poem, you know, because that part of her that could appreciate it, that part of her that could connect with it, um, you know, now she could. And so I think about that with you and in kind of an opposite way. You're not old, you're young, but maybe part of you know, our connection and what I'm finding here. It can be in a form that you can understand later, of course. That's my hope and thinking about that that your mom said made me realize that You know, it's not about the practical things of life while I'm doing this, obviously. Obviously, I've messed that up real good, you know, living together and being consistent and having a job, but I do believe in the soul and that there's a connection that we can't fully describe. And that connection goes beyond life, like the connection I felt to my grandma 
and to God after she died and through that poem and through religious thinking. And so with you, even though we are separated, maybe what I'm trying to do and the bond that I felt with you can be realized by you in a form as you grow up and as you mature and not to put any pressure on you because of course you don't have to think about it at all but if you do that's my hope is that it it could mean something to you maybe not right this second but hopefully later or at very least in the soul somewhere deep down because you know, ultimately that's the level we're working on here. So I better end this. Uh, as I said, I'm been bad at doing the videos consistently, but so we're going to skip the black hole surfing. We're going to get back into that. But for this time, we are going to fill up our treasure chest because we have quite a bit to get to. So let's fill that up and then come back another time for our next series in our videos. And it is mid-February now, and so hopefully soon the spring will be here, and I will be feeling better. Everything will be much brighter. We will do more videos, and I'm looking forward to that. I love you very much. I will see you soon.